okay so what is going on YouTube my name is Mehul and welcome to another tutorial for social login application with Ionic 3 and Angular 4 and in this tutorial we're gonna continue with the application and this one would be the probably the last one which we will be doing on the web after this I'm gonna implement the same thing on the phone and again there's a difference because on the web when you log in with any of these providers you are presented with a pop-up but on the phone there's nothing such as such a pop-up but uh, instead you would need to make use of some sort of plugins which Cordova provides out of the box so first of all we're just gonna implement it on the web so that we can just take a look if the application is looking and working fine and after that we can switch it to the mobile version so first of all let's just add some icons to the buttons and we do have some icons provided by ionic out of the box and meanwhile you might want to update your ionic CLI I'm not sure when you're watching this but right now it's 3.9 for me and you can see that we have some icons here we can go with the Facebook one just go with this and uh, right here we can go with something like login with Facebook right and we can give it a no break space similarly we can do the same thing with the Twitter one as well and we're gonna say the same thing here Oh, it's Google, right? Login with Twitter. And once we are done, I'm gonna shrink this code as well. We ha do have separate methods for all of this. And hey, uh, this should be login with GitHub, no? And we do have the method for GitHub as well. Okay, so we are login with Twitter. The next is GitHub. And there we are logging with uh, GitHub. And uh, yeah, the Google one. So Google Plus or Google. Let's just go with Google. So login with Google. Okay, so now let's just shrink this code as well. So I'm just going to change it to one method login with Google login uh, what we have here Twitter and finally login with github so it would make our JavaScript a little less cumbersome because I can see there's a lot of code repetition going on here so what we can do is create a login method uh, let's just see um, yeah okay so let's just create a uh, what we say provider is uh, null uh, we can just switch the language here or the provider why not and provider let's just name it uh, sign sign in provider so we can switch the provider uh, we can say for Facebook the code should be um, sign in provider sign in provider provider is uh, new firebase dot auth dot facebook auth provider right and uh, for case uh, let's just say we have twitter here for that we want new firebase dot auth dot twitter auth provider break it then we have case uh, github sign in provider is new firebase dot auth dot github auth provider and finally for google we have sign in provider as new firebase dot uh, auth dot google auth provider and make sure to break there and we can safely omit the default case because we are hard coding this so yeah now what I want to do is just copy this thing and all of your custom settings if you have anything else specific to a particular platform 
that can go right here inside these case blocks only so once we have this we can just do sign in provider right here and then get the response provider is logged in uh, and all that stuff and we can finally say uh, logging in with and then we can say the provider name <coughs> and once we do this we can pretty much get rid of all of these methods right here okay looks much cleaner and a lot of space to breathe now so now if we take a look um, we have some problems here NBSP right there uh, NSBP where is it NBSP 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 okay so that works and we get the buttons in place and uh, we can just change the title as well if you want uh, we can name it social login app or anything like that so now one more thing now the thing is when you click on this uh, the page reloads or uh, not really reloads but the pop-up comes up and angular has no clue when it has to update the view so there would be a very long delay sometimes because angular does not know that some things have been updated and it needs to run its cycle you can see that we got the response here but nothing is being updated right now it should not be so slow so we have to manually inform angular about this thing and to do that what we can do is we can manually trigger an update cycle for angular 4 you can see that it came after a very long delay and this should not obviously be seen by the end user on the production app so what you want to do is manually trigger a change once you know that the view would suddenly be changed and that place is probably right here so to do that what we need to do is actually include this change detector reference package from angular core and create a reference of it inside your constructor with anything right so once you do that what you need to do is write this dot ref dot detect changes and what this would do is that it would manually run a cycle for this component this particular component and would see if there's anything it needs to update and in our case that would be this this provider logged in variable because once it's updated the home.html file should show this card right so angular by default kind of goes into sleep it does not know that we have run this function variables have been updated because again it's not running on a while loop so it runs its cycle periodically so if there's anything which angular is not monitoring and has been changed by you in our case this variable inside um, a kind of a promise so you need to manually tell angular to do that so now if we take a look we should probably see that changing immediately so here we are so you can see that the moment we uh, got this login with logging in with Google our card showed up so that was pretty much it for this tutorial and in this tutorial what we did is pretty much clean the code a little bit created a reference uh, change detector reference so that we get immediate response um, on the front end that our profiles have been changed so yeah that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one